Hey guys, just showing you my uh, end caps there from my handlebars. Those are 45 ACP brass. Let's go ahead and focus here. There we go. Uh, so we had a request. Uh, I had posted a video on my parameters for the S830 display, and uh, it was meant really for a manufacturer to look at. I had some questions, and uh, I guess some viewers saw it, and they're like, hey, why don't you actually show us how to program the darn thing? So uh, that's what I'm going to do now. So this is the S830. Usually it's black. I painted it to match the bike. Um, pretty simple display. And this is the uh, control switch. I mounted it here uh, because I have cruiser bars. And frankly, the wire doesn't reach all the way up here. So, But this is fine for me. Uh, three buttons, up, down, and middle. To turn it on, you hold down the middle button. Power comes on. Okay, and you can see right now my current speed is showing at zero. There, focus a little bit better for you. And uh, pedal assist is at zero right now. Battery's 100%. I can increase that by up or down for pedal assist. My odometer is showing 41.2 miles. Okay, uh, to change the bottom screen down here to display, you can uh, just hit the mode button, the middle button. Watch the odometer go from 41.2 to the trip odometer at 17.1. That was my uh, little little trip today. And then uh, the voltage that's in my battery currently, and uh, the current that you're the voltage that you're using while you're riding. Um, it's good to know that information as well, so you're not overtaxing the battery. And then it's also got a clock in it, which is kind of nice. And then if I want to adjust the top display, you want to hold the middle button and the up button at the same time. Now watch that. It's got show it right now. It's showing current speed zero because I'm not going anywhere. Holding on two buttons and it shows now max speed. I've only gone up to 25.1 miles per hour so far. Average speed 2.3. I just putting around. And current. That's it. Okay. So if you want to get into the nitty and gritty and adjust the programming, you want to hold the up and down buttons at the same time. Okay, and see we've entered into P01 now. And P01, you'll see down there at the bottom is flashing. It's at number three. This is actually your backlit display here, brightness. Level one, two, three. And I, I like to keep it on three. I like things bright. To go to P02, you just hit the middle button again. P02, and this is your choice between miles per hour and kilometers per hour. Zero is kilometers per hour, and one is miles per hour. P03, this is your battery voltage. You can select 24, 36, 48. P04, uh, so we have, currently this is like your, your timeout for the display. So if uh, you want to let it go to sleep after five minutes, you can do it all the way from one to 60 minutes. Uh, if you set it to zero, it'll never turn off uh, until you power it off. And so after 10 seconds running through this, program menu, it will go back to the display. So just to get back into that, you want to hold down the up and down arrow buttons again, and then we're back into here, and then you scroll through. Okay, I have mine set time out at five minutes. Then we go to P05, which this is set on three or nine, and you got three, five, and nine, and these are your levels of pedal assist that you can have available to you. I keep it at nine. Um, P06, uh, this is your tire size. I have 26 by 4, uh, so it's a 26 zero. Um, you can adjust it to a tenth of an inch. Uh, make sure that's accurate for your bike. P07, uh, this is set at 47. This is usually set by the manufacturer. Uh, this is uh, magnet speed for, uh, or magnets uh, for speed test. Get back in there. Go to 8. Okay, and Eight is your speed limit. Uh, you got a choice between zero and 100. And this is in kilometers per hour, just so you know. Um, United States, kilometers per hour, or excuse me, miles per hour, I believe it's about 28 miles per hour is your limit. Um, if you put it on 100, that is unlimited speed. And it'll go as fast as your motor can, can do. Um, so keep that in mind. P09. This is a, a zero start, non-zero start. I have it at zero start, so if I hit the throttle, I get instantaneous access to power from the motor. If I put on one, there's gonna be a slight delay uh, before the power kicks in from the motor. Uh, I keep it on zero. P10, uh, this is 
you got three options, 0, 1, uh, and 2. And basically, uh, P10 uh, is your different modes of driving. So 0 uh, is just going to be throttle only, so your pedal assist won't work. Uh, option 1 will be pedal assist only. Back up in here. Oops. Go back to 10. Okay. So 0 is uh, throttle only. 1 is pedal assist only, and 2 is throttle and pedal assist. Uh, so I leave it on 2 because I like to have both available to me. Uh, and then we have P11, uh, which is set at 23. P12 is uh, set at 5, and these are uh, sensitivity for pedal assist. And then you have P13, uh, which is how many magnets are on your pedal assist. And then P16 is your reset for the odometer. You just let that go back. All right. And if you have a headlight built into it or whatever and wired into your harness, if you hold down the up button, you'll see a little light icon up here. There it is. That would then power your headlight. Hold it down again. Turn it off. If you hold down the bottom arrow, it'll put it in a six kilometer per hour walk mode, so you can walk your bike as well. Uh, if you got any questions, I hope you like the. You go ahead and ask me. I hope you like this video. It's short and rough and unedited. I'm sorry, um, but uh, please like and subscribe. Leave any questions and comments in the uh, section below, and uh, you know, let me know what kind of videos you want to see. Uh, do you want to see more of the bike, or you know, what kind of stuff would you guys like to know about? All right, talk to you later.